I know you want the big wins. We all want the big wins, but it's the small wins, a bunch of small wins that build up to make a bigger win. Now, some wins are going to be way out the park. You're going to be like, oh my God, what a big win that was. Yep. Accurate. But it's the baby steps. And I don't know if you're like me, but you guys know I have adult ADHD. I've had ADHD all my life. Uh, I get overwhelmed pretty easy as far as like, like I feel like it's called scatterbrained, right? You start feeling a little scatterbrained. And I don't know if you're like me, but I use my cell phone. Literally, it's a big piece of my job. I might be FaceTiming somebody, might be answering an email, a phone call. It's important in my practice, not just because I want my phone. So you would think that I would be more mindful, and I'm working on it, on where I put it. And in my brain, I think I am until I look for it. And I'm like, well, that's weird. I just had my phone. I don't, where did I put my phone? It's an integral part of my day. You think I would know, but I don't. So you want to work on having places for those things. And that's one of the things I'm working on in my program. But I wanted to show you some little wins, uh, uh, one small win specifically that you can incorporate in your life because the small wins really add up to be more important than the big wins because it gives you a whole new way of focus. So first of all, look how cute this is. Look at this little Dunkin' cup. Look, it has a little straw. You can put it on your keychain. I did not. But what is it you say? Look, it's chapstick and it smells like a latte. It smells so good. So why am I showing you this and why is this a little win? Because I have little chapsticks all over. I have some in my purse, some in my car, some by my bed. And the reason I do that is because inadvertently, I'm probably going to take one somewhere and drop it somewhere. So every beginning of the month, any anytime I feel like it, I'm like, okay, it's time to really like recalibrate. I look around and go, okay, I have three purse chapsticks now, no bed chapstick, no car chapstick. So I reevaluate and then I'm like, oh, I'm out of it, right? So then I went to Duncan, like I said, and I got this cute one. So I don't have them on my keychain because I feel like he'd get in my way. So I just kind of keep them in the car. But I'm bringing that up to you because I want you to keep in mind, you want to make your life easier by the actions in which you take. So you got to be honest about who you are, right? You got to know where your shortcomings are. We all have work that we need to do. We all have certain personality traits that we're going to just keep. And you got to work with them, not against them. You got to work around them. You got to incorporate them in your life. And if that means getting a big pack of Burt's Bees or whatever chapstick you're going to use for the day and put them in different locations to make it less stressful because you'd be like, it's chapstick. It's not just about the chapstick. It's about anything. It's about... If you know, I know for me, if I'm doing my five journals and my journals are downstairs, but I'm really having a negative thought and I need to dump it in my journal, in my brain, I'm going to go, oh my God, it's all the way downstairs. I don't live in a mansion. I don't have a McMansion. I went all the way downstairs. It's like literally 13 steps. Like I could go down the steps, but even then don't want to have to stress it. Don't want to give myself built in excuses. So I have a set that I keep upstairs. So then I have no excuse. There's no excuse like, oh, well, it's all the way downstairs, right? Because we always make things way more dramatic than they need to be. And so you want to know who you are and know what your shortcomings are and don't get mad at them. Work with them. Use them to your benefit. And you're going to start with small wins. And maybe it's having chapstick everywhere. And maybe it's buying cute chapstick. I literally, this brings me so much joy. Like I will get in the car and this brings me so much joy. So a five or six dollar, I don't even know how much it was, five bucks, maybe six bucks, chapstick that makes me smile, makes me happy, brings me joy. And I know where it is. It lives here in the vehicle. Then why would I, that's great. That makes me a little bit happier and it lets me know one less thing that I need to overthink and worry about where I put it. Now you do want to work on it. I'm working on it in this program. I'm going to give you guys on this ADHD way of like being a balanced, yes, but more organized stuff like that. And it is having a place for everything. If something doesn't have a home, it's got to go, right? Literally, if something does not maintain a home, it doesn't have a place and it just lingers, it needs to go. If it doesn't have a home, it's got to go bye-bye, right? But it's the small wins. Don't come in and try to, I don't know, like declutter everything. Don't come in and try to go, oh, I need to remember this. I need, okay. I have, am the master of losing my car in a parking lot. There could be three cars in the parking lot when I go to the grocery store. And I'm going to come out and be like, where did I park? Where did I, where did I park my car? 
forgot to sneeze. <coughs> and so it's, so I'm more mindful. I have a system now how to see where my car is other than just hitting the button and trying to hope to God it goes beep, 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 right? So your small wins have to be the things that you give yourself a reward for and be mindful and celebrate in your gratitude journal the fact that you made your life a little easier that you didn't have to fish for the chapstick. But remember, just because you have a system doesn't mean that everything else is fine. You have to constantly stay up on that system. Like I said, every two weeks to a month, I go through and I'm like, why are all my chopsticks in my purse? No wonder I couldn't find them. And I put them back where they belong. Do I need one? New ones? Get new ones. Same thing with lotion. Same things with, oh, well, these are my sunglasses, but same thing with reading glasses. I have reading glasses for just about every occasion, like everything. I have them everywhere. I go to the dollar store, I get all these reading glasses, a couple by my, my, uh, bed, a couple on my desk, a couple. It's not excessive if it's what you need. So don't go and be like, well, what's wrong with me? Why do I need nine pairs of reading glasses? Well, maybe that's going to make your life a little bit easier. Stop analyzing it and saying, what's wrong with me? Why do I need, why can't I just, because I know you do it. Why can't I just figure out where I parked my car? Why can't I just know where my chapstick is? Well, because maybe your brain doesn't work that way and you can't fix everything. Like, work with it. We can get, that's so not important. Not knowing where your phone is, is kind of important, but it's not that deep. So it's working with it and understanding what you need and then working accordingly. And I will say, and this is proven scientifically how your brain works, your brain likes cute things, right? Like cute, nice things that can be manly things, it, you know, like if I like flannel or whatever, like doesn't matter what it is. It brings joy. That's why the back of my screen on my computer are all these beautiful changing leaves of the trees. Same thing, my, my cell phones, both of them, are aesthetically pleasing for me because a lot of times the phone doesn't always bring you joy either. It brings you a lot of stress. So you want to have those small wins to make things make you happy. And this little guy that says Duncan on it makes me happy. And so when you find that, don't always think that you got to go down this rabbit hole of constantly, oh my God, I got to do all this inner soul searching. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. It does not have to be all day long. Because I don't know if you're new to this whole self-love, self-help thing. It's not fun. Okay. I wouldn't, it's, it's transformational. It is joy on the other side of it. Is the process joyful? I wouldn't classify it that. I would say it's very rewarding. Yes, but that means it's also a lot of work. And so if your whole entire day from sunup to sundown is work on myself, work on myself, work on myself, read a book, read a podcast, listen to a podcast. Oh my God, let me meditate a hundred times a day. Yes, you do those things. Yes. But my God, you're going to drain yourself. You are going to totally drain yourself. Stop rushing the process. It is a lifelong journey. So if you find a little win, or if you want to go for a walk, I just picked up pickleball. If you want to do things that aren't just necessarily for your self-help, you want to watch a TV show that you may think, this doesn't bring any joy to my life. I mean, not joy. This doesn't bring any education in my life. Well, that's fine. Everything in your life doesn't need to be an educational moment. All right, it's called balance for a reason. You've already struggled with it. That's why you're trying so hard in your perfectionism to feel better, be better. We all wanna feel peace. We all wanna feel better, but you gotta do the work. And it means going forward, going backwards. So when you have a moment to woo, not drop it and break it, when you have a moment to have a small win, take it. And don't ever crap on that small win and be like, it was fine, it was fine. I mean, it was, I got, okay. Great, I did that because apparently I need nine pairs of reading. Like, why are you judging it? Don't judge it and be like, well, I did it, even though I don't think I should use nine reading pairs of glasses. Why, why? If it works, do it. Don't judge yourself or the small wins will never come and you'll never see them as good enough. You'll always be like, that's fine, but I still have all these big things to do. Yeah, but if you can't celebrate the small wins, the big wins will never come because you'll never allow them to. They'll never be enough for you. You'll just keep chasing it and chasing it and all of the things that you're not doing and all of the things that you don't have and how you're not good enough and all of those random things that come up. So find something small. Do you need an air tag, one of the little air tags so you never know, so you always know where your purse is? Then do it. It's created for a reason. Don't judge yourself. And don't crap on those small wins. Without small wins, your life never goes in a progressive space. 
So make them fun, make them happy, and celebrate the hell out of them, okay? That's your homework, because small wins, baby, are so much bigger than you even give yourself credit for.